All right, so Mayweather style mitt work. Um, everybody wants to know when they see Floyd Mayweather doing those fancy long combinations where he's just going on the mitts for 10, 15 minutes straight at the media workouts. We all want to know what he's doing and what punches he's throwing, what patterns he's doing. So in this video, I'm going to give you one of their patterns that they kind of string together. And I'm going to break it right down so you can see exactly what to do. And then you can go ahead and try and practice yourself, whether you're boxing or whether you're on the mitts, with, if you're boxing with your coach or if you're on the mitts and you want to do it with your boxers. You can kind of try this pattern out and see what you think of it. So there's a few defenses involved here. Now the main defenses that the Mayweathers work on when they're doing those the cycles and the flows is um, it, it, they kind of work everything short, right? And they get often criticized like this isn't realistic, just tapping. But they're kind of working on those short inside shots and just developing those short defensive reactions in between and, and countering off those defensive reactions. So it's just basically building muscle memory to slip and counter or block and counter, right? Now for the defensive moves that they kind of go through, um, the first defensive move is just the standard roll. So just rolling under the hook, right? And then I'll show you the, the counter punches in a second. So that's the first defensive move they work on. The second one is the shoulder roll. Now you know Mayweather likes that front arm down, the back hand high like that, and he likes to use this front shoulder for defense. So when that right hand's coming in, he'll tuck that chin behind that shoulder and use that shoulder roll Philly shell style for defense. That's the second defensive move that they work on in this uh, pad work. And for the coaches, what they'll do, is what uh, Roger Mayweather used to do, they, uh, uh, Floyd will have the bottom arm down. And then for that shoulder roll, use that left pad right there, then he can catch the counter punches. So just kind of touch the back of the shoulder. So the shoulder roll is the second one. Um, the third one, you'll, you've seen this a million times in his fights, is, is a straight pullback and then the right hand counter. So if I'm throwing the straight jab or a straight cross, any straight punch, just pulling back in a straight line, getting the head out of range, and then countering immediately with that long right hand. Right? You've seen Floyd do that a million times in fights where he'll play with the range, uh, tempt the, uh, his opponent into a punch, pull, counter, and then rolls under the shot. So that's kind of what they drill in these little flows as well, is that pull, right hand counter and then rolling straight away off that counter shot. The third, def uh, the fourth defense is the, um, the catch of the body shot. So you see how many times people have been up close with Floyd when they finally get him on the ropes or whatever and they start banging to the body and trying to bang to the head, just creating that instinct to just see that shot come in, catch it on the elbow and firing straight away with counter punches. We'll get to the counter punches in a second. So just to recap the defensive moves that they're working on in the East floors, we've got the roll of the hook, We've got the shoulder roll of the cross, but for the mitt work, we're gonna use the left mitt, right? So defending that straight cross. We've got the pull, straight back, just leaning into that back foot, loading all that weight on that back foot, ready for that big right counter, and then rolling back into the roll again. So we've got the roll, the shoulder roll, and the pull, and then the third one defending the body shot on the elbow right there to catch that uh, left hook to the body coming in. So those are the four defensive moves. Now, in order to put that together into a mitt work flow, like you'll see what Floyd does in the um, media workouts, there's a bunch of different ways that you can counter punch off that. Now, the counter punches that they tend to uh, build in these patterns varies from each defensive move. So, if we start off with the, with the, um, the jab hand on the shoulder right here, right, just to kind of judge that distance, I hold the right hand right here. We're going to start with that long right hand. And uh, just to go back, sorry, just to sidetrack for one second, everyone criticizes them for having those short punches. But if you actually look closely, every now and again, when you get back through the whole cycle, there's that long, powerful right hand out of nowhere that he's so famous for and so good at of just that boom, that big right hand and getting under the shot. That's actually in these flows. So he gets criticized for shortening everything up, but you'll see if you pay attention, there is that long, fully extended, technique driven right hand in there. And we're gonna start with that. So we've got the jab hand on the shoulder to measure the distance, the right mitts right here. We start off with that straight right cross and then a roll under the hook, right? Classic Floyd Mayweather right there. Now from here we're in. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do straight away, three cross hook cross. So that's three punches, right? Then from there, body shot, hook cross. So six counter punches off that first roll, right? Now what's so good, what I like about these flows and this, this Mayweather style of mitt work is it's developing those uh, defensive reactions and counter punches, but there's so much punch variety. They go through every single punch in the arsenal at the same time. So straight away off that roll, 
we've gone two hook two, and we've got a body head two in there as well. Body head two, right? So those are your six counter punches off the roll. <clears throat> the next thing we're gonna go into is the shoulder roll. So after that right hand, she's gonna roll back to the right side and tuck that chin behind that lead shoulder. Now from here, we're gonna mix up the counter punch pattern. So we're gonna go two hook two again, two hook two. This time we're gonna double up the hook and add the cross, right? So again, we've got six counter punches. So it's a two hook two, but instead of going to the body head two, we're staying at the head and doubling up that hook. There. And that would be the six counter punches off the shoulder roll, okay? So now we're halfway through. Stay with me. <laughs> um, like I said, these are complex, and, but this, if you wanna know how to do them, this is exactly how you can put them together. So just from the top, the jab hand's on the shoulder to measure the distance. We start with the lead right and roll under the hook, right? Now from there, we've got six counter punches. Cross, hook, cross, and then body head right. From there, we're going to shoulder roll defense. Six counter punches again, two hook two, double hook two. Okay? Now we're doing this with good, good technique, keeping the hands up, making sure everything's nice and long, elbows up. And if you notice, when the Mayweathers do it, everything's a lot shorter and it's more inside, and everything's a lot lighter, it's a lot more kind of tappy and, and feely, right? Uh, we finished after the shoulder roll with two hook two, double hook two. Now I'm gonna come in for that body shot just to get that right elbow back, right? This is great for off that right hand straight into defense. Now the, the, the typical pattern that the Mayweathers use off that catch body is a right uppercut, then they come back, turn the right hand over, right? And then a hook cross, okay? So it's, it's four counter punches off that body shot. So it's an uppercut, cross, hook, cross. Four counters, catch body, uppercut, cross, hook, cross. All right, so we've only got four counters off the body shot. The final part of that is to work on the pullback, right? So let's go from there. We've caught the body shot, right? Uppercut's right here, cross hook, cross. Then from there, I just throw my jab, nice and long so she can fully pull out of the range of that fully extended long jab. And then from there, it's just a straight right hand counter, boom, roll under, hold it again, right hand counter again, boom, those two long powerful right hands, right? So off the pull and the roll, we're countering with two long powerful right hands. And then we're right back to where we started. And that's how you can cycle it from there, right? With this one pattern that I've given you right here, just to recap it and kind of go through it from the top. We've got uh, the roll, the, sh the shoulder roll, the pull and the block on the body shot, right? Now we've got a different uh, counter punch combinations after each one. So just to recap it, we're gonna start with the jab on the shoulder. We're gonna start with a long right hand, power right hand. Roll under, two hook two, body head two. Shoulder roll next, defense. Then we've got two hook two, double hook two. Then we've got the catch body shot. Four counter punches, uppercut, cross hook cross. Then we've got the pull. One counter from here, long right hand, right back to the roll. Hold that again, roll again, boom. Now we're back into the start. Two hook two, body head two, shoulder. Then we've got body hook two, double hook two. Then we've got the catch body, four counters, under, over, hook two, pull, right and roll, roll, three, body head right. Boom, 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 shoulder, two hook two, double hook two, catch, under, over, two hook two, Pull, right and roll, there. And then that's kind of two, uh, two times through that whole flow and that sequence. So you can kind of see now you've got the patterns, the, uh, the roll, the shoulder roll, the catch body, and the pull, right? So those are your four defenses and those are the counter punch uh, options that the mirrors typically use off each of those, right? Now what you can do is you, you don't need to do this with maximum power and speed. Start off nice and slow and build up and yeah, you'll notice even when the Mayweathers do this, it's nice and short and light. They're just developing those reactions and working through the, the shot variety and building up the, the defense and the counters, right? So if we, if we shorten everything up a little bit and try it a bit more mitt work style, the only thing that's long and powerful is that first right hand and the right hand after the, um, after the pull as well. So we're there. After that, we're in. Let's go. So two up two. Body head two. Shoulder. Double. Catch. Pull. Boom. Pull. Bam. There you go. Body head two. Shoulder. Double. Catch. Boom. Boom. Bam. There. <laughs> Messed it up, I went roll instead of uh, pull. But uh, yeah, so you get the pattern, right? 
And uh, that's one example of a, a flaw that you can try that the Mayweathers use. If you have any questions about this or how to do it, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'm going to do a couple more on the Mayweather Mitwork style because there's more different variations and, and styles that we can use. There's body shots, there's uppercuts as well that they use in these flows. But there's one example of a flow that you can go and try. So try it out. Let me know how it goes. Leave your uh, feedback in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of this and the whole Mayweather mitt work style. Um, let me know how it goes. Leave the comments and any questions uh, in the comments below. Don't forget, hit the subscribe uh, bell on the channel. That way you're going to get notified of each video. Thanks for watching. Pull, whoop, catch, roll, hold, bang.